Hey guys, Mr. Poller here. In this demonstration, we'll be looking at the process of evaporative cooling, comparing water with 70% isopropyl alcohol. So the temperature in the room currently is 22.4 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and measure the temperature of this liquid. So just lower the probe into the liquid. Just tighten that to hold it in place. All right, the first liquid we're testing is water. And we just want to get a accurate read of the water temperature. Looks like it is coming in at 22.1 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna raise the probe up and once we lift it out of the liquid, the liquid that uh, remains on the tip of the probe will start to evaporate. And we can see that the temperature is falling it's currently reading 21.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we see the temperature is continuing to fall. It's currently reading 20.3 degrees Celsius. We'll leave this for a little bit to see what happens to the temperature over time. The temperature has now dropped to 20.3 check that. The temperature has now dropped to 19.9 degrees Celsius. Let's watch for a little longer to see if it continues to change any further. Okay, looks like that is the lowest temperature we're going to reach. Temperature is reading 19.9 degrees Celsius. Once the probe is fully dried, we should see the temperature on the sensor rise back up to room temperature. So we see it is going back up. It's now reading 20.7 degrees Celsius. So we'll give that a little bit longer just to get, again, an accurate read of the room temperature. Just put that in place. So that is the next liquid that we'll be testing, which is the 70% isopropyl alcohol. All right, so we saw the amount of evaporative cooling that took place with water. Let's look at the alcohol. I'll go ahead and lower the probe back into the liquid here. Again, this is 70% isopropyl alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol. So just lower the probe in there like that. And we'll just read the temperature of the alcohol. Okay, so it looks like the alcohol is registering a temperature of 22.1 degrees Celsius. Uh, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and raise the probe. So we uh, take the tip of the sensor out of the liquid. The alcohol will start to evaporate and we'll take a look at how much the temperature changes due to evaporative cooling. Okay, we can see the temperature is already dropping. Temperature has dropped to 19.6 and it continues to drop, 19, temperature has dropped to 16.3 degrees Celsius, continues to drop, 16.2, we'll continue to watch this just to see the lowest temperature that the probe reaches actually looking like it's starting to go back up now 16.3 and now it's continuing to move up to 16.4 uh, so we would expect that this will continue to warm up all right so now that we viewed this demonstration we see that there's a definite difference in the amount of cooling that took place in the water trial compared to the alcohol trial so what we want to do next is try to come up with some possible explanations for what's taking place. And as you do that, you want to be sure to take into account a particle level explanation. What is happening with molecules that helps us to explain the difference in the amount of cooling that took place in the water trial compared to the trial with the alcohol. 